What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Guys, it is New Year's Eve, and I want to wish you guys a happy New Year's. And I'm sorry, I hate to tell you guys this, but I'm done with YouTube until 2022. This is the last video y'all get until next year. I'm done with it. I've had enough, and I'm sorry. That's just that's how it's going to be. So I will see you again in 2022 with some more awesome content from the GNS Trucking YouTube channel. But we are getting ready to celebrate what a great year it's been. And without you guys, it wouldn't exist. Like this has been a fun year. This has been an awesome experience. And uh, we're gonna go for it another year. I think we're gonna try it for, as long as you guys wanna, wanna watch us, we're gonna keep going. So I wanna thank you for being a part of it, for being a part of our family. We love you guys, every single one of y'all. I mean, it honestly feels like everybody is family on this YouTube channel. I go through all the comments all the time. A lot, 99% of the time, it's all repeat comments. And it's seven, 800 comments per video now. We're getting up to where our videos are getting over 100,000 views. It is just becoming such a great thing. And I'm getting better at it, I feel like. Um, the video you're getting ready to see, we kind of loaded this thing in the rain. So um, the camera wasn't too happy, and I'm sorry about that. But anyways, guys, Happy New Year's. I hope your family had a great year. I hope you guys had a great year and we'll see you in 2022 go watch this video and enjoy it and have a good night guys yeah, steve is in training still i don't know where he's got us into but my gps told me to do that <laughs> hey once we are loaded we cannot come back across this bridge Good trailer fits between the lines. Because <laughs> uh, we're definitely on the limit of weight right now. Can you swim? Uh, I don't want to try. It's pretty cold out there. I got a stupid question. Uh -huh. Why does my window down and your window is up? There's nothing to hit on this side. Oh. I can't see through the tent on that All right, yeah, so we're about to hit the whole aisle line right here. I don't really want to hit it, hit literally. It operative. Yeah, let's turn left here. So, guys, I screwed up and invited Steve, and it started raining immediately of him entering the vehicle. It's pretty accurate. Every time he comes over and helps me, it rains. Every It could be 0%, and then it turns to 100 So yeah, oh yeah. Wait till you see the big bridge, the new bridge when we go out. All right, we're almost there. Like 0 0.8 miles, we're gonna be there to get this big old forks lift. There she is, still here. That's a big old girl in it. Steve has successfully driven two trips now. Back. with big trailers all right guys so this is what's getting sketchy i've never put this much weight on a pickup truck ever this forklift according to google weighs twenty eight thousand pounds being a diesel so 26 or 28 so we're somewhere in there either way it's a lot of weight brax you finally awake we need you to drive and you to sleep. She's alive, baby. Let her smoke. She's a smoker. I didn't think she had another start left in her. <laughs> yeah, it was getting iffy. Guys, that's, that starter is out. Steve had the Cosby, so. She get the starter as soon as she gets home. I'm sure it won't drive off the trailer without it. Look at that beast. Ain't it that a beast? Look at that. I'm going to stay dry. It's got heat in it and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited over this one. Yeah, 
this is probably Rax's kids will probably have this thing. Well, that old stuff will still be around. The new stuff will be Exactly. Take that home with me too. Tell what's going on. Yeah, the, yeah, that's a big old beast of machine, and the boards are wet. I think me back in the trailer was more sketchy. <laughs> oh, Steve, I felt safe. Huh? I think what's sketchy is we got more weight on this trailer and truck than it needs to have on it. Uh, we got all it wants. overloads 
Jeez, and we need no no. No? Oh yeah, it's past our roads. <laughs> She's loaded. We just gotta get her set right, get the trailer set right. The trailer's sitting down, which it was before we loaded it. I knew it needed to come up a notch. I was just hoping it would level out. I think according to DOT that this is a little overloaded, but since it's farm use, the rules change a little bit. Hi guys, it's like 3.30 in the morning, but we are loaded. We've got one, two, three, four chains and two big chains back here. Uh, one of them was probably gonna be fine, but we just went ahead and did two for safety. And I don't like the tires looking like that, but we're gonna stop and check them. I checked the air pressure in them a couple weeks ago, so I think they're all right, but they're squatted. That is a lot of weight back there. And it's gonna suck if it ain't loaded right, cause then we gotta stop and move it forward. I think she's gonna be all right. It's definitely a tall booger. Dude, I know this video is not doing this forklift any justice. No, it's a beast. It is not doing it no justice. So, anyways, we're gonna try to get it home and be safe with it. We're gonna video the whole way because this is gonna be a tough pull for this little old truck. If it does it, I'm gonna be tickled. Well, it's rolling down the road. The truck's not really liking it, but it is rolling. We definitely could not go across that bridge now. No. Oh my God, dude. No, we didn't go swimming. Yeah. For sure. Jet road, baby. Man, there's a hotel with all kinds of roads. Weekly rates available. We rent rooms about 30 minutes. Should we stop and go to sleep? What time is it? 3.30? It's only like 4 a.m., man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'd like to take me a nice nap. I wouldn't mind it. Shower. Yeah, we got a little nasty. Here we go, though. I'm not a real trucker. I'm not used to going three days without a shower. <laughs> I'm a, I, even though I was a trucker, I didn't do the three-day shower thing. I did the, take a shower every night, at least, or every morning. My dad was bad for it. Good trailer brakes. Yeah, it starts good. One thing about it, the trailer brakes shouldn't slide. <laughs> We're really about to test it out here in a minute because this, I don't know, low fuel, this big hill we're about to climb. I know what this thing's made of here in just a second. I love hanging out with somebody crazy than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nuts. Yeah, this is probably one of the more sketchy things that I've done. Even though I pulled 14, 16 foot wide boats and like this is probably definitely one of the the dumber things. If it falls off the trailer, the YouTube channel never gets posted this this trip. But we keep going. <laughs> yeah. Letting well, our forklift. We got a yellow one. Alright, we're about to find out what this truck's made of. You said forklift. I didn't know we were picking up mining equipment. <laughs> It's a monster, ain't it? Yeah. Right up here, get a little forklift with me. This forklift will pick up every forklift I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's definitely a freaking load. <laughs> Holy crap. This truck is like, no, no, this is not happening. Oh, is that two state troopers sitting up there? Or is that a truck? That's a truck. Okay. Uh, it's just my conscience or whatever, whatever you call it. It'd be awesome if we could avoid the state troopers. Come on, truck. If the trucker's not asleep when you go by, he's gonna be like, that guy's an idiot. Definitely thinking that. <laughs> Dude, it's handling this hill pretty good. 
he's gonna say, I'll bet that dude don't even have a CDL. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting in the driver's seat too. Dang, dude, she's handling the hill. I mean, that's pretty impressive, posted speed limit up this hill. Yeah, and this is not a little hill, guys. Like, yeah, probably 8%. Yep. This thing got the power. I mean, that's good. One thing I will say, this truck has got good power. For a quarter of a tank of gas in the last 300 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude. Let her eat, son. Look at her accelerating uphill. I ain't even to the floor yet, right either. There, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. For a darn single-wheel truck, though, tell me. It's not riding stiff anymore. Pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty flexed out. But seriously, though, for a single wheel truck, look what it's pulling. You ever heard that old trucking song, Widowmaker? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Just think, Steve, we got a hundred acres worth of room for stuff like this. And we're getting ready to stop and look at 15 trucks on the way home. I mean, pick up some miles with this thing. That's what I'm. That's what I wanted it for. Yep. So, like when we go clean up these, so I've got three different places we got to go. This last place that just called me, they got 15 trucks. 15. They want me to clean out of there. All cab overs and 359s and this little forklift should be able to pick every single one of them up and help me load them on the step deck and get them back home. 15 trucks, that's a lot of trucks to move. Mm -hmm. If we can do what, three at a time, two at a time, two, four, six. It's only like eight, nine, ten. I brought the GMC home on a 22 foot, 10,000 pound rated trailer. I know, I can't believe you did that. I honestly cannot believe you did that. <laughs> I'd love to put a picture of that up right now. <laughs> I've got a picture of it. Well, we got to put that up. Well, we almost didn't make it to the fuel stop and thank god steve just happened to glance over we're getting ready to pass this place oh they're in our cooking right now look i knew i smelled fried chicken yep they're in our cooking so steve just happened to glance over and seen that there was a a diesel pump on the end of this thing so we snuck her in here almost got took out by a semi truck that was rolling on oh yeah look roaster chicken God, I want some chicken right now. I told you I smelled chicken. Chain checks good. I just thought it was your clutch. <laughs> yeah, we did have either a, uh, we're thinking it was wheel slip, and hopefully it wasn't tranny slip, but we had a shutter earlier. It's a little nerve wracking. I can bet you I will not ever do this again without probably the little single axle cab over. And I'm really wanting to look up a diamond. I've been looking at them Diamond C trailers, and they are, I feel like Diamond C's took the, that's about the best there is out there right now. I don't know, man. This trailer right here is doing an awful good job. It is doing a, it's doing a real good job. It's, the trailer's happier than the tires. Yeah. Oh, if this had some 16-ply <coughs> hand cooks on it, I feel like she would be... I wouldn't even question. I wouldn't even doubt it. Oh, guys. Yep. It's morning time, and I look like hammered hell. I got to get my hat on real quick. So we're getting ready to head out of here. We stopped here in Kentucky at a motel. Since all three of us was in the truck, it's going to be a little hard for us to sleep and uh, i was getting pretty tired it was raining and this thing being as heavy as it is the truck's handling it just fine but you know i'm not going i wouldn't want to get us into a situation so um here we are getting ready to head out and this bad boy is loaded hey brax all the chains getting tight yep Good. Let's roll, baby. Can you get back to the house? 
Oh, that thing right there, guys, has saved me many, many, many times. But we got a surprise at home when we get there. We had a truck towed in, one that we'd bought. And we're gonna finish doing a wheel start on it. So let's head to the house. All right, guys, we're getting ready to hit Jellico. We made it to, about to hit Tennessee with it. So we made it this far. And this booger is heavy, gosh. We're gonna stop and weigh it somewhere and see how much it weighs. We've been averaging probably around 70 mile an hour with it. I don't really want to take it much faster than that, but it's handling it no problem. The truck's a little bit iffy. That could be my nerves, but as far as power and stopping it, it's no issue at all. And trailer brakes do work pretty good. Yeah, they do. Just wondering how it handles this big hill with it. Welcome to the green state of Tennessee. Here we go, baby. Oh, Tennessee welcomes you. Come on, honey, you're getting ready to work your butt off. Low fuel again? <laughs> we just put fuel in. <laughs> yeah, it's not getting no fuel miles. 8.3 miles per gallon is what it you're says. You're not even getting that. That's based on oh, 12 we got man. all the way up. <laughs> well, I was hoping to get it hit it with some speed, but I don't look like that's going to happen. We're going to have to watch these guys go side by side all the way to the top. Man, well, this is our this is our challenge ground right here. Me and my drivers and stuff, we would used to tune on our trucks and tune on them and tune on them to see who could get to the top of this hill faster. I remember as a kid coming up here and seeing cab overs beside the road with the drivers sitting on the ground with their head in their hands, overheated, clutches burn out. <laughs> here in Black Mountain. Come on, baby, you got this. That's to the floor right there, guys. That's everything she's got. Yep. It'd be nice to see all cab overs climbing this hill. 
old FLDs and cab overs. Boy, that would be the dream. I'm old enough to remember that. 359s. Oh, God, that would be heaven. GMC Astros. Oh, yeah, GMC. I like your Astro. <laughs> we seen one last night, guys. It was a single axle with the big, uh, had the big grill in it. Now, that's a 389, I believe. 589 whatever I don't know the numbers I just after 379 I just quit oh that's that from earlier oh yeah sorry buddy that's that dragon fly truck he drags up one side and flies down the other mm -hmm. <laughs> hey that's pretty good Steve check this out guys I've really put a lot of effort into wearing my seat belt everywhere I go now I've had it on even in in all the trucks a lot of people are on me about my seat belt, so I've been good influence on that. Yep, Steve's got his on with his beer belly over there. Whiskey. Whiskey belly. Ooh. She does move around a little bit when she hits the bumps, but not too bad. 63. We're climbing it at 63. We're gonna top it out at what you see it. I think we're gonna top out at 60. I can't people just be patient and not cause accidents. And... Got one engine coming around here. Yeah, we'll get over out of their way. 61, we're gonna top it at 61. 62. Yep, there we go, 63. Not bad, little truck, not bad. I was asking a lot. It was. The little single axle freight liner to climb that thing at 70, no pride, but I'd have had to been out of the throttle to keep it. You didn't need the jank going uphill. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, that little truck will climb. That torque is set just right on that truck. All right, guys, we made it to the top. Now we gotta go back down it. I'm more worried about that. Yeah, me too. We'll see how the jake does. This thing does have an exhaust jake on it. So. Jake. Yep. Here we go down the hill. This is the first hill. It ain't real bad. It's not real long. Yeah, them Scotland trucks, man. That was sick. They've got they've got a nice setup. I gotta say, I've seen a lot of Scotland trucks, and they've got nice trailers and trucks. They always got peats. Like some old west stuff. You know? Yep. It's holding back. Sixty seven. That's pretty amazing. 66. Did the fake Jake will hold it that good? I am pretty amazed with this truck. I don't know if I can trade it for that Duramax now. Yeah, I mean, I'm a GM guy, but I gotta tell you, this <laughs> truck has, you've asked a lot of it in the last 24 hours. And it's done it. It's done it. It might break in half when we get home, but. <laughs> Let's see, we've got, the trailer's every bit of 10,000 pounds. All right, you got a 10,000 pound trailer, we got a 28,000 pound forklift. I can't wait to cross the scales. 10,000 pound truck. You think it'll go 50? I bet she goes 45. 45, all right guys, what's your guess is put it down in the comments. Look at that, that's 76 mile an hour just like it ain't even back there. There's the Dragonfly truck. Here at... Here in it's a twin turbo cat with an exhaust leak. Right, right. That's what I'm looking for is brake lights. I went ahead and turned the brakes up just a little bit more just in case we do have to stop for this. So coming off this mountain, it's 6%. If there's a wreck at the bottom or traffic jam, you wanna be able to get stopped. Those two troopers in that bigger hurry, there's something going on ahead of us. I mean, you wouldn't think it like in a car coming off this hill, it don't seem that steep. But you come down this hill at 80,000 pounds in a truck, semi truck, well, it really it don't take long at all to get your brakes hot. I'd do that on Mon Eagle, come down to the bottom running 65, 70, and had to stop it like quickly. Yeah. That 
Jake slows this thing down. It does a really good job. It's amazing to think how far trucks have come. It is. We were just talking about it, guys. He had a 6.5 diesel, and I've had a couple of them, too. Um, Dooley's. I've had a couple 6.5 Dooley's and one three-quarter ton. And it probably, with this load behind it, coming up that mountain, there's no way the motor would have survived it. It would have overheated two or three times. I don't think the 4L80 would stand it either. Five miles per hour. It, no. I mean. Pickup trucks have come so far. You know, my truck that's seven years old had a max rating of, I think it was 21.6 or 21.8 max. Whereas this was, what, 38 or something like that? Mm-hmm. Five years before that. No, I think this one's 39,000 what it's supposed to. That's its towing capacity, I guess, is what Total. it is. I've not looked it up, but that's what a couple people have told me. Every few years, they add five, ten thousand 10,000 pounds to what they'll do. Mm-hmm. But, like, like I said, you've done this every day with this truck, this kind of weight. There's, you jump it. Oh, yeah. She'd be by two hundred thousand. It'd be war plum smack out if it made it that far. All right, we got off the vault right at the bottom. Copart called me because I got a wrecked car at my shop, so they got to pick up. And as soon as they called and I answered the phone, bam, traffic stops. Which truck stopped just fine, no problem. We were kind of expecting it. Just hoping nobody gets smoked coming off that hill. It's yeah, not situation. a good spot. I bet his brakes are on fire or something. Looks like a couple big trucks. Oh crap, did he run off the road? Right on the exit ramp. Jack's burn will follow. This is where we're supposed to go look at them 15 trucks we gotta get. Oh, really? It's right here? Yeah, I'll follow it, yeah. That's what I told him, like, it'd be a good day today, but I guess the rain, he wants to do it Saturday. Which, that's fine, before we go dragging this forklift all the way up in there. And yeah, yeah, these roads back in here can get pretty. Mm-hmm. At least we'll know where it's going and what we got to do, and that'll give us some time to fix the mass and all that stuff on this forklift. Where, because it's, like, it'll go up, no problem. But when you let off of it, it just comes right back down. Like the last guy, I, he loaned it out. And the guy was using it, um, blew a line on it, and then we put it back on. I guess it's been like this ever since. What in the heck is going on? Did he get rear-ended? Yep, we got rear-ended. Didn't do no damage there. Either got side swapped or rear ended come off that hill. I don't either. Alright, let's see what we got here. First way, really. First way. Zero, zero, 001. Thank you. What was your guess again? 45. 45. Brax, what's your guess? Uh, 33,000? 33, yeah. I'm going to go with... Damn, you're going to be pretty close, I think. I'll go with 43.5. Is it closest without going over or just closest period? Closest within. All right, so you're 45, I'm 43.5. I don't know. Closest period. Closest period. All right, All right guys, you ready? All right, what is it? Braggs, ready? Whoever wins this can win 100 bucks. You want 100 bucks? I hope you're right. Use bucks. 42, 160. Looks like I win 100 bucks. <laughs> you 
you snuck out while we were asleep and got it weighed, didn't you? <laughs> That's what he did, didn't he? 42, one, I really thought 45 was going to be the number. I did not expect to win that. A little weight on a pickup truck. That is a lot of weight on a pickup. Look, 30,000 on the axles. Those not even a dually. 15,000 pound axles. To ride on the money on the axles. Yeah. What's the max rear of the truck rated? Um, let's see. We got 53, 40 on the steer, 74. Dang, we're right on the money Look, on the we, truck. We got her balanced out pretty nice. Dang. What do you think, guys? It's pretty good. It's a lot of weight on a pickup truck, though. Here we go. Here we go. Sweetwater Hill with 42,160 pounds. What's she going to do? Is she going to do it? You guys have seen what this thing does to some trucks. What's it going to do to this truck? 10%. Here we go. Ooh, there's a big county mount. He's in there waiting on me for speeding. Well, he didn't get that must or Camaro up there. He ain't getting me. He must be sitting there playing his Game Boy. Good Ooh. Lord. She's on the floor. All the way to the floor. How about that? She shifted down. That hill is a workout. This hill is a workout. Jellico in 61 or 62. Yeah, that proves this thing's ever been 10%. So, to all the haters out there that were saying it's not 10% in the comments, yep, Jellico is what Jellico is, and you saw what we did there. Yep, there we go. Come on, baby. We can top it out at 52. Oh, I'm getting passed by a Ford with an excavator. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's live, though. <laughs> <laughs> he had to do that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's priceless. I bet our forklift will pick up his excavator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our trailer weighs more than your excavator does. That's a pretty good size one, though. Yeah, it is. That was pretty good. I'd, if I'd have been him, I'd have done the same thing. Oh, yeah. For sure. You know he's hammering on it. Like, oh, I got to get past him. I got to get past him. I'll be getting a text tonight. Oh, Uncle Joe passed you on, on the hill, Sweetwater Hill over there. Tell him to take that load to the cat scales and compare. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? No, he didn't. Did you text him and tell him? That's, no, sir, I did not. Is it, what do you mean? Looks like to me you owe somebody a $100 bill. <laughs> <laughs> I said 42,000. He, he wasn't in the bed. He wasn't in the bed. Is that what it is? Is what it weighs? 42,000. <laughs> I can look at it and tell you, buddy. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, look at the tires. If you ever say you can't lift a motor out now. Oh, no, no, no. We can pick these boats up here. That right ain't now. big enough. We can pick the truck up and sit down on the motor. We need to go bigger. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't. Can't go you Mexican. Put some extenders on that. Well, you're probably picking boats up a day. Look how wide it is. Hey, my fork don't need no extender on it. I got a big enough fork right there. Yep, we're picking the boats off. Put them on those. Ask him what just happened with the uh, Ford pulling the great big. Uh, this little excavator. bitty excavator. We're coming up. All right, what do you think this truck pulled up Sweetwater Hill with all this weight on it? It's a mile per hour. Probably about 28. What was it, 52? 51. <laughs> hey, we talked we talked Jelco at 63. Yeah. Move on then, won't it? Hey, it did a good job. That's a tough hey, little you truck. Know, if you, you did this every day, it probably wouldn't out. last very long. But, <laughs> yeah, but it did a good job. It stopping, stopping it. We never we ran 70, 75 the whole way. Never had Yeah. Get it off or let's get you off Jellico. The fake Jake held it back. Uh, yeah, it was slowing it down. That rascal. When I was driving it over at uh, in Florida, you never use my brakes. Come up to a red light. You see. Yeah, I mean it held this load <laughs> on Jellico. I was going to get rid of it. Now I think I'm going to keep it. Awesome. It's a good Tell truck. Me, you get more trucks than the women changes their underwear. I know, but that one's lasted a little oh, while. But see, the thing more. is, I never thought Timmy, I Look never thought Timmy about. would go there oh. automatic. That's what I, I, I ain't seen. If I, if he wouldn't have traded right, me that truck, I wouldn't have went from an automatic. <laughs> right, 
Back alive. I didn't know if it was going to start, but it did. That starter's got to be rebuilt. I'm telling you, that thing's got a busted piston. Well, it didn't turn it over all the way? Turn it over. Turn it over. Yes, yeah, you got to bust a piston. It's these, uh, these, see, these motors are different in these, uh, cabin, it rattling in the bottom. cabin chassis motors are different. They're bad about busting pistons, wrist pins. Sucks, but it is what it is. I just have to put a motor in it. Pull it over and take the head off of it and we'll pull see. It take it over and pull the head off. Take it up. Hold on, I'll lift it up and take it over there. Uh. I got that is heavy. Thank you.